This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. What is going on? My reefing fam, March here. This is Fragbox TV. This is Tia. She's asking me a question. What's the question? Why is there fighting in strawberry? Why are they fighting in strawberry? No, why is fighting in strawberry? Why? Because someone did not do their job. That's the answer. <laughs> we are not organized. So she's organizing the conscious. Today's video is about organization and putting conscious where they belong. No, that's not the video. That would be a very short and stupid video. Um, I need help, actually, in this tank. So I picked up the camera because I'm stumped. And maybe you guys can help me. So I'm going to ask you a very important question shortly. But I'm going to keep you engaged and make it exciting. And in the meantime, until I get back over there, um, we're going to see what else Tia is unboxing. Or should I say, unbagging. Wait, show us. Where are you going? It's a crumbus. It's a crumbus. It's oh, no. not so exciting. No, you know what? I take that back. All of God's creatures are very exciting. Um, this tank is really dirty. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, quite dirty. That is not good for the camera. Dylan looks like he also wants to ask a question. Show us your new shirts. What up? This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Just want to give out a sh uh, shout out to our man Austin. What up, Austin Hong? I hope that you and your wife are enjoying these videos and. Check this out. If you want a t-shirt, uh, we'll send you one. Or we just need to order some more. The logo, uh, it's pretty good. I'm going to send this to the guy who makes them. But these are our new um, employee shirts here in the store. But Austin, because you're our man and you ordered one of the Reef Casa tanks, um, we're going to send you a shirt just because to show our love and appreciation so that you can flex on your wife. Yeah. Flexing on the wife. What? Uh, what's in there? Uh, yellow watcher. And I'm pretty sure it's Oh, there's another watchman. You know, if you were a fish, I think you would be a yellow watchman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be a Randall. A what? Randall. What would Dylan be? Dylan would be a pipefish. Because you're, so, you're so slim. <laughs> and you're always eating. <laughs> Actually, that's need, the thing. I, I, I want them to tell us what kind of fish we are. Dragon pipefish. Dragon pipe. No, blue stripe. Blue stripe pipefish. Oh, you're actually going to get a tattoo? Uh -huh. Of a dragon pipefish? Yeah, like That'd be sick. Yeah. To match the, if you guys don't know, uh, Dylan is very much into orchids. He can name, you show him an orchid, this guy can name the orchid. Wait, let me show you. Over here, orchid test. Okay. Close your eyes. Don't look what I'm writing. Okay, let's orchid see. Species. Or okay, what's the name of that one? Phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis. I knew that. Everyone, that's an easy one. We're just warming you up. Ah. Savanda. Savanda, yeah. Pretty good. How about that? Also oh yeah, obviously. I promise we're gonna get to uh, the point of the video today. Private caller. Hmm. It's probably the police. Hi, Fragbox. Hi. Just called a bit. Fish question for Tia. Okay, here you go. I'm handing you the phone to Tia. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know about famous. Maybe infamous. Hey, me down here. Oh, you're in Ecuador. Oh, that's funny. You're on Fragbox. You're on Fragbox TV as we speak. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give you to her. So she's gonna answer your fish question. Okay, that feels like a good time to actually get into today's video. We learned about Dylan's orchid knowledge. We have some more goodies that are coming out of here shortly. And now we will ask you for your help. So, a little bit of background on the aquarium here. It's a 90 gallon, uh, I would say mixed reef. It's about as mixed as you get. I'm gonna fill in more with Acro on the top. A pair of Hydra 32 HD LED lights, a pair of Nero 5s for flow, Massive sump in the basement that you can't see, about 300, maybe 400 gallons uh, hooked up to a farm system. Everything doing really well, except this one coral, which up until really recently, maybe the last week or two, no polyp extension, and I can't figure out why. It's a pagoda cup coral, generally super easy to keep. No new, so you know what I do? I When someone asks me um, what's wrong with a coral, I have this sort of checklist that I run through and that I ask them to try and help diagnose. A lot of what we do here is trying to help people um, with coral stuff. So let me show you what my chest chat ha chat list looks like and what I've ruled out so far. So generally ask, you know, what kind of angelfish have you added to the tank recently? Uh, because they will like to nip on corals, especially ones that have nice polyps like this one used to have. None. No new fish additions. No changes in salinity. So that's usually my number one thing I'm going to ask. What's the salinity at? Um, it's sitting at 1.026. I haven't changed 
salt brands. Um, I'm still measuring the same way. I've recalibrated my refractometer, which is this one here. If you're wondering what I'm using, it's our Reef Casa. Look at this nice bamboo box you get when you buy one. That's the Reef Casa refractometer. That's what we use for the entire store. We have five different systems in here, and we trust that refractometer to test the salt in all of them. Temperature is sitting at 77 degrees, and I'm using the Neptune Apex, and also this is a very trusty device. It's temperature is fine. Calcium is at 450. Alkalinity doesn't really move too much in here. It's sitting at 8. Our magnesium is high as usual, 1500. Our nitrates are a little elevated, and phosphates a little elevated, but that hasn't changed. They've been elevated for a while. I have no stray voltage or current. I am. I don't know of any pests that would specifically eat a cup coral. I haven't changed the light. I haven't changed the schedule on the light. I haven't changed the flow in the tank. Um, there's nothing really up against it that I can see that would be harming it. You know, we have some acans over here, but these typically, not typically, these don't do not have a sting at all. And then we have some leather corals off to the right. Again, these are not going to sting it. There's no torch coral, hammer, frog spawn, favia, chalice, um, Hollywood stunner, anything that we would expect to have sort of a stinger tentacle that may harm it. There's no real hermits in here. There's no emerald crabs. You know, sometimes those can go rogue. They can eat corals. I don't see anything hiding underneath it. Other than no polyp extension, overall, it looks like it's good. I'm not seeing any recession. You know, sometimes you'll see corals that'll start to peel or pull back from the bottom. Um, not seeing that. I'm just seeing zero polyps, but it used to be the most polypy thing in here like it it, uh, it would stump people a lot of times because it kind of it's growing like a plate coral but it's exhibiting polyp extension almost like a duncan or like it was just meaty i have another one here that's a different variety and it has short polyps as you can see there but they're out it's fuzzy it looks good and that's how it normally looks so i'm at a loss i can't figure out why Maybe someone out there, you know, we are, I think as, as of recording today, 33,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you very much. If you're one of the subs, it's freaking awesome. Um, and I'm stumped. So we don't have the answers to everything here. The team in the store can't figure out why it's behaving like that. So maybe you guys have an answer. You have helped me in the past with, um, Sometimes it's just little things, oversights or, you know, sometimes we, we know the answer, we just forget that we know because there's just so many different causes and reasons, but I'm out of options on that one, so I'm really looking for, um, for a hand. What else can I tell you about this tank while we have the camera here and we're still watching? Um, I'm trying to think of changes. I'm not feeding anything different, so I'm feeding the exact same things. I use Fauna Marin. The Min S, but I think I'm gonna stop. This stuff smells ridiculous, and I think it's increasing the phosphates um, far too much here in the tank. I'm using the trace elements from, again, Fauna, but I think I'm gonna stop as well. No, actually, I've turned off the dosing because when I do ICP tests, I think it's too concentrated. So I'm gonna, you know, I keep trying and playing with new chemicals and additives, and I always end up going back to the same thing, which is just water change. Pick a good quality salt, change the water, pull out a portion, stick to a schedule, and just about everything that you need is going to be in that salt. With the exception of these two, well, I'm growing a lot of zoas in the basement, so this is iodine, and I find that I need to dose iodine to keep it at 0.06 uh, to 0.07, which is where we kind of want for soft coral. So this tank downstairs, even in here, there's quite a bit of soft coral, and they really do suck up the iodine. Let me show you what that coral uh, should look like, because I just realized we have some other ones fragged up here. And so this is what it looked like, or maybe if you follow the channel, you've seen it in the past. Look at the polyps. So that's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what it looks like now. I will do it one more time. Before, fuzzy, green, polyps out. Or I can show you this. Look, let's say I upset it, right? So I'm going to piss him off. Look, I'm going to say some nasty words to him. Urgh, you're bad. You're a stupid coral with a stupid brain. Check it out. Look at that. All recessed. Pops pull in. They don't want to be touched. They look pissy. And looks just like that, doesn't it? Okay. I think I've given you enough backstory. Comment below. Maybe you have an idea. Maybe you want to ask me a question. Maybe you have something further. I'm doing an ICP test mañana. If you don't know what that means, that means tomorrow. And we will see you guys. Oh, wow. I love when you say that. Can't we have a sidetrack? Of course we can have a sidetrack. What a silly question.
from the Rethink community. Actually, I'm not going to touch it because I'm not sure what it is. You're, you're sidetracked. You're stealing my whole video. I need help. Sorry, no, no. I need help with this sea slug is. It's a sea slug. I can't identify it. It doesn't have anything underneath the, um, the mantle. I, don't, I actually don't know what that's called. This lip. There's no okay, color. Stop moving. Hold on. That's not a lettuce. Thing. No. That's a shrimp. What do you mean? Not the shrimp. This. Oh, next to the shrimp. Okay. Yeah. See, it has the yellow, orangey skirt. Nothing under its flap. And it's brown wait, and stripy. Wait, 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 wait. Better question. Why do you need help identifying the sea slug? Because I found it, and I can't <laughs> figure out what it is. I can't identify it, and I don't want to put it out of this net. And it also might be dying because I don't know what to feed it. I keep feeding it different things. Not one. Two requests. That's what we ask of you guys. I need help. <laughs> we both need help. Why is he closed? What the heck is that? Comment below. We'll see you guys back here on the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.